We are shown a girl in this story who was so lonely in her life, but there came a night in which everything was ruined. So, the movie starts by showing the main character, Melinda. Melinda was so lonely in her life and she also didn't have any friends. She wants someone in her life who talks to her and who loves her, whosoever that will be. She always keeps herself busy with her work because she was all alone. Melinda did a job on the night shift at a gas station. She was cleaning a toilet and meanwhile she saw a picture of someone on her phone. He was Officer Lou, whom she loved. And when he came into the store, she clicked his picture secretly. Then we are shown a second character of the movie, Sheila, who was the colleague of Melinda. She is teaching her dance steps. During that, Sheila makes a video of Melinda. On this, Melinda requests her to delete the video several times, but Sheila didn't delete it. Meanwhile, there comes a customer. Melinda asks her, what can I do for you? But that person ignores Melinda and talks to Sheila and says, Sheila, I came here last night. You do a lot of work and keep standing for the whole night. That's why I bring a gift for you from your foot will have no pain. Melinda takes that and gives it to Sheila, but Sheila returns that gift angrily. Being upset, that person comes outside. Melinda also comes after him and says that your gift served me and says thanks to him. Then we see a man coming from parking after parking his car, and he hides his gun on his back and moves toward the store. Melinda says to him hello, and he also says to her hi. He tells her his name is Billy. He asks her, whether you are alone work here or some other boy also works here. Here, Melinda says that I and Sheila work here. Meanwhile, there came a police car. Seeing that, Billy goes inside. Then we see Lou, who introduces Melinda to the police car. Melinda was so happy sitting in the car. Meanwhile, she touches a gun that was put here. On this, Lou shouts loudly at Melinda. Melinda does not mind this. Then we see Billy on the cash counter who asks Sheila about the washroom after billing. Meanwhile, Officer Lou also comes here and seeing him there, Billy goes to the washroom. Now we see Melinda there who clicks the pictures of Lou and Sheila. Sheila sees that and shouts at Melinda. Lou asks for her phone, but he has to go for some work. Meanwhile, Sheila takes the phone from Melinda and deletes all the pictures of Lou. On this, Melinda cries a lot and takes her phone back and goes outside. Then we see Melinda who comes inside. At that time, pointing a gun at her, someone says to her that cooperate with me, I will do nothing. Melinda says yes. And we see that it is Billy who says to both of them that he has come here to do robbery in the store. Put all the money you have in the bag. On this, Sheila refuses. Billy says that obey me, otherwise I have to shoot you and says that he has not come to steal from you. Rather, he has to do some robbery in the store. You don't have any loss in it. Sheila says to him that there is not much money in here. On this, Billy starts the gun and points at both of them and asks them to put the money. Melinda asks Billy that, what will you do with that money? Billy says, I will pay my debt which I took from a biker. Melinda asks him, would that be enough money for you? Billy answers no. On this, Melinda tells him that there is a lot of money in the storeroom, I will give it to you. How much money do you need? Billy asks her to bring all the money. Melinda asks him to wait and leaves from there. Here we come to know how crazy she is. She opens the security lock and puts all the money in the bag. Meanwhile, customers come into the store. Billy says that if you tell anyone about that, then I will kill everyone in the store. Billy goes a bit far from there. Those customers were billing. Getting the chance, Sheila writes on the bill that there is a thief in the store. Call the police. But meanwhile, Melinda comes back there and she takes the bill and says to the customers to leave. Billy comes to them and asks Melinda for the bag. On this, Melinda says, can I go with you? Billy says, are you crazy? Give that bag to me. Melinda says, I have to go with you and that's why I help you. Here we come to know that Melinda was doing all that because of her loneliness. So that, she helps Billy and, thinking her useful, Billy takes her with him. But then, Billy pushes her and snatches the bag and begins to leave. On this, Sheila says to him that, you are so weak. By pointing a gun at the girls, you think that you are so brave. Billy turns his back and starts an argument with Sheila. Sheila says to him to be thankful that my boyfriend is not here, otherwise he would have broke your mouth. On this, Billy puts her down on the counter and asks Melinda put a security lock. Billy takes Sheila inside to get intimate with her. Then we see that Melinda warms the coffee and goes towards that room where there were Billy and Sheila. She sees that Billy is sitting her down forcefully. At that time, Billy sees her. Meanwhile, Melinda puts a hot coffee on him. Because of that, the gun starts. Striking him with a firing cylinder, Melinda makes Billy unconscious. And then we see that Sheila has died. Then we are shown a later where Billy regains consciousness and he sees that Melinda has cleaned the blood and covered the dead body of Sheila. Then he curses Melinda. He was tightened. Melinda holds her up and puts a chair in front of him and sits on that. She asks him, why do you want to take me with you? He replies, because they were bikers. They may harm you or maybe kill you. Billy thinks and says to her, all right, you help me to steal money, you're in my team. Melinda says, I want to be in your team forever. Melinda starts talking to him and Billy appraises her on every word. So that, Melinda untightened him and he can go. Billy asks Melinda for a cigarette. She gives him a cigarette. Billy says to her that you have burnt my face with coffee, it's looking quite ugly. 
On this, Melinda says that there is nothing wrong with that. I used to burn my fingers in coffee daily. During the talks, she touches the face of Billy. Billy stops her. She comes outside where we see that she takes the water from the fridge and comes inside. She gives some medicine to Billy and gives him water to drink. And she says that she also has a boyfriend. On this, Billy says that he must be worried for you. Melinda says, maybe, but I don't care. So, as I said earlier, that I will go with you. So, will you take me with you? Billy says to her, Let me first give the money to the bikers, then I will come back to pick you. Melinda doesn't say anything to him and gives him medicine. Then she brings a tape and opens his pant. Billy stops her to do so and says to her to run away from here, but Melinda does not listen to him. And she says that you are lying with me. As I will untighten you, you will kill me. After that, she covers Billy's eyes and mouth with tape. She stands and looks at him. Then we see that Melinda opens her pants and sits on Billy. Somehow, she was trying to get intimate with him. She is sitting on him. Meanwhile, Billy falls her down. After that, Melinda stands in the corner calmly. Billy moves toward her to kill her, but striking with lockup, he falls and becomes unconscious. Melinda checks him. She takes the bag of money and comes outside. She comes to the counter and tries to shoot herself. Meanwhile, there comes Perry, who was the boyfriend of Sheila. He asks her that, where is Sheila? I am calling her for a long time. Melinda cries and says that she is not here. She ran away with someone. On that, Perry says, who is that? Melinda says, I don't know. He calls Sheila. On this, Perry finds Sheila's phone on the floor. He says to Melinda that, you are lying, Sheila is somewhere here. She cannot live for only five minutes without her phone. Both of you are making me a fool. On this, Melinda makes him understand and says, believe me, she is not here. She ran away with a boy. Perry says, who is that and how does he look? Melinda says, he wore a jacket and he looks like you. Perry says, okay, I'm going to find out then. If they come to take the phone, stop them until I come back. Saying that, he goes out from there. Then we see Melinda who comes out from the back of the store and checks the ground from the light of her phone because she was going to bury Billy and Sheila there. She goes inside the store to bring the digging tool. Meanwhile, she sees that a large number of bikers are coming there. They stop their bikes and ask Melinda, will you let us in? We have to buy some things. Melinda refuses them and says, sorry, the store is closed now. Bikers say, but this store remains open 24 hours. On this, Melinda says, but today it is closed. Biker says, has something happened here? You are looking quite nervous. Melinda says, nothing has happened, I am fine. Then the biker says that we are finding our friend. Did he come here? Melinda refuses them. Then one of those bikers tries to enter the store forcefully. Melinda stops him, but he does not listen. On this, she pulls out a gun and asks them to go. Meanwhile, all the bikers standing there take out their guns and point at Melinda and say, are you without a mind? On this, Melinda replies, maybe. Hearing that, one of those bikers asks all the others to put down their guns and takes them all and goes into the other store. Melinda smokes and thinks, why this place shouldn't be burned. Neither there will be any proof, nor will I be caught. She goes immediately into the store and brings two oil tanks and fills them with oil. She goes in and opens the tank and spreads the oil everywhere. Meanwhile, someone comes there. He was Officer Lou. He points the gun at Melinda and says sorry to her. Lou says, did anyone come here? I'm finding out a thief who's been coming to this side. Melinda refuses him. I am the only one here. Lou says to Melinda, can I check out here so that you will not be harmed? Melinda says, believe me, I saw the last man here an hour ago who was searching for a hotel. He goes out in a green jeep from here. You can find him. He was a strange man. Lou reports him to his department and says to Melinda to check out this place again. Lou moves ahead and does a checkup. He checks each room. Melinda also goes after him. As Lou sees the last room, at that time Melinda points a gun at him, but Lou comes back from there and says that there is no one. Melinda quickly hides the gun. Lou gives Melinda his department card and then he leaves and says, if you see someone, call in my department. Lou goes out from there. Melinda comes back and checks that room where he tied Billy. She sees that there is no one. She comes back and spills the oil everywhere and also on Sheila's body. There was just petrol around the store. Meanwhile, Melinda hears someone's footsteps. She takes out the gun immediately, but the gun drops from her and gets wet in petrol. She puts the gun to one side and goes out from there. Meanwhile, the electricity goes off there. Melinda runs and opens the door of the store. But due to the security lock, that whole place was locked completely. Then she hears someone's footsteps. It was Billy who was finding her. She hides there. Billy says to Melinda that this is your last chance. Give me the bag and stop this nonsense. Then, Melinda stands up and switches on the light and says, That whole place is wet with petrol completely. If you take one step further, I will put a fire. Then there comes a car. Seeing that, Billy asks Melinda for the bag. Melinda refuses him. And we see that he was Perry who was the boyfriend of Sheila. He came back there in search of her. Billy runs away from there and Perry tries to open the door. And he asks, What has happened here? Melinda says, Light went out and there's a security lock here. 
Perry shouts at Melinda and says, what have you done with Sheila? Where is she? Meanwhile, Billy comes back from behind and holds Perry's neck and they both fight. And Perry dies. Billy sees Melinda and goes out from there in his car. Melinda comes to the counter immediately and calls the officer and says, I lied that there is no one. There is one man, please come fast. Then Billy comes here in the car and breaks down the door. He comes in. Melinda moves aside quickly and takes a fire extinguisher and tells Billy that the money is on the counter. Take it and leave. Billy checks the bag and takes the gun. Melinda says, I have called the police. You have time, so leave. She says sorry to him. On this, Billy says, keep your nonsense sorry. You give me drug pills and try to use me. And he asks Melinda, by saying why you have called the police here. Melinda says, I have told them the truth. On this, Billy shoots her and there the gun sets fire. Melinda sees that Billy is burning. She runs away from there. Meanwhile, she starts to burn. She somehow puts out the fire from her and comes outside and she sees the store. She had burnt badly. Then Lou comes there who takes her out from there. And with that, this story ends here.